And then so suddenly you realize that you are able to reach out to a critical mass of people who are able to tell you how well or how bad you're, you're, uh, you're doing. Another example is in uh, Zambia, where they are now using barcodes and smartphones in order to, to, to regulate and, and monitor how they are doing in terms of uh, health um, uh, medicine uh, supply, supply chain. And, and we could have many, many uh, examples uh, such, such as this all over Africa. And, and now, I think Tim mentioned earlier on, and it's true for uh, uh, African Development Bank and for us, we do actually finance quite a bit of ICT in our projects. And here, just an example for the World Bank, and you, you can scan the various, uh, the various uh, sectors, and uh, you know, in any of them, uh, you have uh, more than 50%, 60%, 70% of those projects which have some form of ICT, IT, IT spending. But what we found recently uh, by looking at it and taking a kind of a look is that it's not always transformational. Um, it's often piecemeal. Uh, and uh, our uh, colleagues who are uh, non-IT non or non-ICT colleagues in the various sectors uh, don't necessarily know how to go about it. They see the opportunity that I've mentioned earlier, they see the innovations, but how to actually use leverage technologies into a health project, into um, um, a transport project, et cetera, is something that is much more, uh, much more uh, difficult. And when we talk with our clients, we see the same thing. And, and what we see is that if we are not able to move, I mean, we will become irrelevant for, for our client countries. Um, so it's piecemeal, and it's also a drop. Uh, so we finance quite a bit, but it's a drop compared to w with the potential and the needs that is, uh, that is out there. So here, just to, to, uh, to echo the, the map Kibera one, uh, we did uh, a similar exercise in, uh, in Dar es Salaam, in the Tandale and Plan community. But what we try to do when we replicate is to also combine it with our strengths. And both banks, uh, the strengths beyond financing is also access to policymakers, access impacting uh, change through, through dialogue with, with policymakers, and obviously uh, financing. And so in the case of Tandale, uh, we use the community mapping to actually help us design an urban project. So we had an urban project that uh, uh, we wanted to, uh, to, to finance uh, based on, on government request. And we use the community mapping to actually um, ensure that the project design was responding to the problems that the communities were, were voicing. And so the, the, the nice uh, illustration here is that you use the technology in order to, to, to get a sense of what's going on on the ground, but you don't stop at raising the expectations. You also have instruments to help bring the redress to whatever uh, expectation is, is coming out. So as we were talking uh, with, uh, with uh, African Development Bank and, uh, and, and some others, I think what we realized is that uh, you know, it would be good to have a, a, a source or some material uh, that we can use to provoke discussion, to identify case studies, to identify uh, cases that are worked, working on the continent, and to see how we can go about replicating them. But really to use the, the material that you're going to see uh, in the, the next uh, two, two presentation, to use this material to provoke discussion, to provoke awareness, um, but very much to, 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 to help us identify how to take this uh, forward in, in on uh, looking at a successful experience of, of livestock uh, tracing, tracking in, uh, in Namibia, um, as well as um, uh, looking at the use of ICT when you're trying to, to manage um, uh, irrigation issues. And they, they looked at ICT sensor uh, man management for, for water irrigation in, in Egypt. And that's something that is very relevant in, in many of the, of the countries, for many of the countries on the, on the, on the continent. For the education sector, so maybe what I should also say that for each sector, I think we, we, we didn't want to be uh, necessarily um, exhaustive. Um, those reports really provide pointers um, uh, for, to help policy dialogue with policymakers uh, and, and to help identify uh, um, uh, applications that can be uh, scaled up, but th they shouldn't be, be taken as, as you know, the Bible uh, for, 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 for each of those sectors, e even if we, we try to, to condense as much as possible. But for education, the, there, the, I think the, one of the focus and the challenges uh, that was uh, identified 
um, was how we up the, gain, the game in terms of uh, ICT skills development uh, and use of ICT uh, within, uh, within education, which are two, two, two type of things. And so with a focus on, on teacher professional development, uh, a focus on uh, affordable technologies, a focus on digital learning uh, resources, um, as well as a management information system in the context of, uh, of the education sector, um, and, and of course the, the, the research um, um, education uh, networks uh, that, that are starting to, to, to pop up uh, throughout and how to encourage them. And so, uh, of course, here the, you know, the, the, the scope would be much, uh, much, much broader, but it's really about identifying inefficiencies in government or in government services and how to zoom in through the use of, uh, of technology and see how we can improve uh, those delivery of services those deliv or, or improve on those uh, inefficiency. So I, I think we've just started to scratch the, the, the surface there. And, and that's an area which both the, the, the World Bank and the African Development Bank um, are financing quite a bit of things. And what we do find is that we, we have a very mixed uh, uh, success uh, rate. Issue of change management, resistance to change within government is very high. As soon as you, you start talking about uh, you know, budget systems or, or, um, or, or, or systems that, that, that really ask people to, to kind of work differently or, or think differently in the, in the way they, they, they operate. Um, one that was particularly interesting uh, for us was one focusing on the regional trade. Um, what we see, you know, when you compare Africa to other regions, Africa, um, in terms of trade, is, is, is a weaker uh, region. And, and there, the, the opportunities to use technology to, to improve on inefficiencies or uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to help through the value chain of, of, of trade are actually quite, uh, quite big. And it's particularly tough to, to tackle because it usually means it's not just one country. It's, you know, it's something that to tackle at the regional, sub-regional uh, level. So it, it does add a, a layer of, uh, of complexity. Um, but I think as, as both banks are developing uh, uh, regional uh, instruments, I mean, there I think there is some space to actually uh, do, do, uh, do something uh, uh, meaningful. Of course, the countries uh, in the region have not waited for the bank and the, and the World Bank. I mean, there are some uh, custom systems that are in place that are, that are working, or those that are working less well. Um, uh, Ghana uh, implemented a few years back uh, the modernization of its uh, customs uh, system using a bit what Endemo uh, mentioned this morning, looking at, at public-private partnerships um, and, and, and trying to see to, to leverage uh, uh, investment from the, from the private sector. But so a very rich, rich uh, uh, report uh, on, on that one that I invite you to, to, uh, to, to explore uh, in, in, in more, um, in more de detail.